Hey guys, it's Ricky. Um, I'm cutting a couple of loaves and you can't see me because I'm really gross today. So I've done about 10 loaves and I'm just tired. So this one is my Tommy Hilfiger salt bar. I do it in a slab mold and I kind of like, I try to do like the red, white, and blue rustic with like the, the salts, kind of the clouds in it, but I won't cut that one because that'll be boring for you guys to see. So this one is a new one that I did. And those are roses from some roses I bought myself, actually. And this is tuber rose and a sweet rose mix. I have people asking for rose. I'm not a rose fan, but if they want it, I will make it. So I've never made this one before. This has um, rose clay in it, I think. I'm not sure. So I'm curious to see, because I did like a triple pour, and I have no idea. Let's see together. Well, that's kind of boring. So that's it. It's got like a couple green things through it. I can't turn my mold on the side so I don't get the rose lines, but... Okay, well, let's see as we get deeper in if it changes any. I poured it a little hot, and that's kind of what it looks like, but I wanted these to go along the rose to go along with the Irish bar and the French bar that I did, and I was going to call it like English rose or something like that. So I mean, it's not ugly, it's just not fancy. It's got a little bit of gold. It smells like roses. So, crunch. I hear crunch. So that's okay. Somebody will like it. Somebody that likes that kind of rose along the rose lines. I think what I did was I just, as I drizzled the green in, I knew the green was a little hot. But my impatience got the better of me. You can kind of see some of the clay went to the bottom too, but like I said, it's kind of a, a little more of an elegant looking loaf. So tonight I'm doing Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so here's my rose. Let me finish cutting it. And I did um, a green clear on the top, and then I poured the green clear in the middle, too. So let me see. The roses, oh my gosh, these were so beautiful. They're from Costco, and I bought them for myself. And they lasted forever, and they still looked good. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to dry them and use them for soap. So this is the end result. So I'm joking around. Now I can buy me flowers all the time and write them off on my taxes because <laughs> it'll be for work. Okay, so I think I've got one more. Yeah. You really smell the rose. I don't like the rose, but I really like that tuber rose. And I believe it's from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. So these, because I have enough clear space on it, I'm going to go ahead and put my, my business stamp on them. Because I just kind of like the way that looks. I'll show you one real quick. And I stamp them while they're still warm. And when they're still warm, I could just press it in. I don't even need to use a hammer. And then I'll just clean it up a little bit. And then my name is on it. So these I may even come back and do with um, a gold mica rub on them. Okay, so that's the beauty. Here's the beast. This one is a black pepper loaf, and it has poppy seeds and actual black pepper crushed, fresh telecherry black pepper in it. So this one, let's see what it looks like. I'm trying to do more manly scents. Yeah, that one's kind of boring too. Um, trying to do more manly scents for Father's Day coming up, and I've got a couple shows. So I kind of want it to be a little manly, masculine. And um, so that's what these guys are. Like I said, kind of simple. This is with uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus, Craster Choices, um, Black Pepper Fragrance Oil, which is a dupe of Molten Brown. I've never smelled Molten Brown, but their smells really really good it's a nice warm scent and then these are charcoal 
in clear embeds. So it's kind of funny. My men's soap are usually a little on the plain side. So I've been a soaping full tonight. I've got two two cold process loaves done, two four pound loaves done, and then I have two cold process oven process PVC pipes in the oven with some shaving soaps in them, and then I've done three, one, two, three, four, I'm finishing up my fourth one after I'm done with this, four of my melt and pour logs, and then i got a couple mail orders I have to do, and then I am done. Done, done, done. So I was worried about looking bumblebee-ish. I don't think it looks bumblebee-ish at all. And then I usually have a guide, so let me see. Let me arrange these and I'll show you. So I don't think they look like a bumblebee. So this is my Beauty and the Beast. Just for today. Yep. So we'll put the stamped one out front. Ooh, I can still feel they feel a little soft still too. Sorry, they're all in your way. I don't think I could stack these. So let me turn you around and get you a little seasick. How do I turn you around? 